welcome back to game time. So today we're going to be playing a game called Action Words. So how we do it is we pick out two words from our hats that we have. And then we try to act it out. And um, so I'm going to try to figure out what Miss Laura is doing. And Miss Laura is going to try to figure out what I'm doing. And you um, tag along with us and try to act it out too so that we can guess, okay? All right. So we got skip and sad. So we're going to skip sadly. Let's go call Miss Marianne. Miss Marianne. We're ready. Right. <laughs> You're crying. Yes. Kind of. You're sad. Yes. And you're crossing your feet. No. Um, you're skipping? Yes. High five. Okay. <clears throat> now, we are going to run. How? Okay. I'll call Miss Laura. Miss Laura? Yes. All right. Are you running? Yes. Are you running happily? Yes. Good job. Okay. Only two more times, Miss Marianne. All right, Miss Marianne? Okay. She heard us. So we got sit and mad. So we're going to sit madly. Let's call Miss Marianne. Miss Marianne. Okay. You're sitting. And you're crowding. You're mad? Yes. Cool. All right, this is the last time, My okay, guys? Turn. I am jumping. And I am scared. So I'm jumping very scaredly, if that's a word. I think it is. Oh, okay, I'll call Miss Laura. Miss Laura! All right. Are you jumping? Yes. Are you scared? Yes. All right. Thanks for playing with us, guys. Have fun with the rest of your teachers, okay? Hey everyone, welcome back to dance class. We're gonna start off class with a quick warm up, and today is actually really exciting because we are gonna turn into penguins for our warm up. So today I'm gonna introduce our helpers. So this is my sister Zara, and this is my brother Samuel. They're gonna help me today. So before we get started though, I wanna remind you guys that we always start class with a word of prayer. And today, it is especially special because penguins, they love their family. We love each other, but most of all, we love God. God is part of our big family. So by praying to him, we're showing him how much we love him. So let's reach out in our hands and bring them right here. And you guys repeat after me, okay? Dear God. Dear God. God thank you so much for today. Thank, thank you so much for, for today. today. And for giving us healthy bodies. And for giving us healthy bodies. Help us today. Help us today. To love one another. To love one another. And learn more about you. And learn more about you. God, we love you so much. God, we love you so much. And in Jesus' name we pray. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put it in your heart. All right, today we're going to be dancing to a really fun song. So, while I get the music ready, I hope you guys have turned into penguins by now. We can put on our feathers. Three, two, one. Charm! All right, I'm going to start the music now. All right, I'm going to do some plies. They're called penguin plies. So, bend your knees. One, and two, and three. For our last one, we're going to do a big jump. Ready? And jump! Alright, this time we're going to use our wings. Ready? 
plie and plie and plie. This one we're gonna jump. Please jump! Awesome! All right, our arms, I mean not our arms, our wings, we really need to wiggle them out and stretch them out and bring them in for a hug. And stretch out of your wings and bring them in. And stretch out your wings and bring them in. And let's do a side stretch and hold. <laughs> side stretch and hold. And we're gonna go in and out. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna look at our feet right now and we're gonna stretch out our toes, okay? So we're gonna point them to the front, once, and to the side, once, and to the back, once. Okay, we're gonna waddle forward now. Waddle, 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 waddle. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Once, to the front, once, to the side, and once, to the back. Awesome. Waddle on back. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is Flap our wings. Oh, wow. I think we should really do some flops, okay? Flops is where we go from one foot to one foot, okay? But we're going to do them with our wings. Ready? So follow me. Flop and flop and flop. We're going to do it faster. Flop, 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 flop. Oh, man, that was kind of tiring. So I think we should really do some dives, okay? Reach up your wings and dive and touch your toes. And reach up and dive back down. And reach up and dive. Awesome. Okay, what we're going to do now is spread our feet apart. And we're going to do the same thing except on each side, okay? Reach up your arms and bring them down. And to the other side. And bring them down. Awesome. Now what we're gonna do is go for a swim. So take your arms and we're gonna dive into the water. Okay, be careful with this one. Oh, hold on to your bellies. All right, now what we're gonna do is push up into a penguin stretch. Twist your neck. Awesome, look up at the sun. That's a good stretch in your back for a penguin. Now we're going to go back down and do that one more time. Awesome. Okay, we're going to go back onto our feet. Okay, we're going to stretch our arms again this way and this way. Awesome. Okay, we're going to swing around our wings. Awesome. And we're going to end with a big hug. Good job, guys. I'm so glad that you guys could join us for Dance Warm Up. I hope you guys had fun. Bye. Hey, little lambs. Welcome to Choreography. Today, we are going to be learning a new dance. It's called You Lead, and it's by Jamie Grace. If you went to winter dance camp, this should be a breeze to learn. And if not, it's a super fun dance, and so you're going to have a lot of fun learning it. I'm going to start by playing the chorus. That's what we're going to learn today. So I'm going to play this song so you can hear what it sounds like and then we'll jump right into the choreography, okay? Alrighty, so that's what we're going to learn today. All right, I'm gonna start out. Um, so find a good place to um, move around, and we're gonna start. All right. So the first um, line says you lead. So you're gonna point up. You're gonna take your left hand. You're gonna go you lead, and then you're gonna bring your left hand down when it says I follow. So that's you lead. I'll follow. Your your hands, I think. So you're going to clap over on your right side. Your hands up and over. Hold my tomorrow. Alrighty? So that's you lead, I'll follow. Your hands hold my tomorrow. 
and it's a huge big sunrise one arm after the other already so you lead I'll follow your hands hold my tomorrow then it goes your grip your grace and you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna go your grip your grace and then you're gonna point to your head you know the way you guide me and so you're gonna take that same hand and you're gonna reach forwards and down all right so that's your grip your grace Point your head, you know, and then stretch out the way you guide me tenderly. Then you're gonna take your little finger guns and you're gonna go, yeah. Alrighty? So that's you lead, I'll follow. Your hands hold my tomorrow. Your grip, your grace, you know, the way you guide me tenderly. Yeah. Alrighty? Let's move on. Then it goes, you lead again, you lead, I'll follow. And this is just like the way. So you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna pretend to be making stars, all right? So that's you lead, I'll follow. you light the way, and then you're gonna reach forwards again, and I'll go. Alrighty? So that's you lead, I'll follow. Just light the way, and I'll go. And this says, because you know what you got for me. So you're gonna cross your arms, because you know what you got for me. And then you're gonna start down low. <coughs> and you go, um, one, two, three. Ready? So, you lead, I'll follow. Just light the way and I'll go. Because you know what you got for me is more than I can see. Good job! Alright, let's start from the beginning. So it goes, you lead, I'll follow. Your hands hold my tomorrow. Your grip, your grace, you know the way you guide me tenderly. Yeah, you lead, I'll follow. Just light the way and I'll go because you know what you've got for me is more than I can see. And then you're gonna take your, you're gonna put your hands in fists and you're gonna go, you're gonna have them circle each other, okay? And then you're gonna turn around to your, and then you continue circling and you turn around again. And that's, so lead me on, on, and it says on again, and then lead me on, on, and on again. And that's the whole chorus. So let's try with music, okay? It's fairly fast, but I know you guys got it. Oh, I gotta back up. Up and over. And then reach forwards. And then point up and bring it down. And it stars. And reach forwards. And hug yourself. One, two, three. And then here we go. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's try it one more time, okay? We're going to try it one more time. And yeah, you guys are doing great so far. I'm so proud. Ready? Point up and then bring it down. Clap, up and over. Reach down, point to your head and then reach forwards. Finger guns and then bring it down. Stores and reach forwards. Hug yourself. One, two, three, and then circle. And turn in a circle. And then turn again. Good job, guys. Back when Jesus had started telling people about God, he was at a lake called the Sea of Galilee. He was telling people about God when he saw two boats with the fishermen cleaning their nets. Back then, they didn't use a fishing pole like we do today, but a big net that they dragged through the water to catch fish. Jesus got to one of the boats, the one that belonged to a guy named Simon. He asked Simon to go out into the water while he kept talking. When Jesus finished, he said to Simon, Let's go out to the deeper part and let's and let down the net to get some fish. But Simon said, Sir, we have worked hard all night and the fish won't come. But 
If you say so, I'll let it down again. So he did, and they got so many fish, their net began to break. They called their friends to help them and started filling up the two boats. There were so many fish, the boat began to sink. When Simon saw this, he knelt before Jesus and said that Jesus should go away because he is sinful. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be scared. From now on, you will fish for people. Okay, said Simon. And Simon and his friends left everything and followed Jesus. Simon and Jesus became great friends. Since Simon was the first to recognize Jesus as the Son of God, Jesus gave Simon a new name, Peter. Jesus told Peter that he would build his church. So for three years, Peter followed and learned many important things about God. Then something bad happened. When the disciples and Jesus were eating the Passover meal together, Jesus told them that he was going to be betrayed by one of them. Peter told Jesus that he would stay by his side no matter what and would even die with him. Jesus knew that Peter would not do that and he would even tell people that he didn't know Jesus. Sure enough, when Jesus was arrested, all his disciples, including Peter, ran away so they wouldn't be arrested too. When people recognized Peter as one of Jesus' friends, Peter said they were wrong and that he didn't even know Jesus. Peter wasn't even there when Jesus was dying. The friendship could have ended there, but Jesus left his disciples and made a way for them to come back to him. When Jesus rose to life three days later, he appeared to his disciples by the Sea of Galilee. While he was having breakfast with them, he called Peter and asked him if he loved him. Peter was very sad that he had lied to people and left Jesus on the night he was arrested. So he told Jesus that he did truly love him and wanted to follow him for the rest of his life. Jesus forgave Peter and gave him the amazing job of not being a fisher of men, but a shepherd of his people. Peter became the first pastor of the church and spent the rest of his life telling people about the kingdom of God and helping them follow Jesus. As you can see, we are like Peter too. We sin and do bad things, but because Jesus died on the cross for us, we can be friends with him. That's why we say to God, you lead, I'll follow. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. One, two, three, Je oh, hey, <laughs> how are you everybody? Welcome to my praise party. Yeah, I know Easter actually was like a couple of days ago, but every day is a great day to praise the Lord and to remember that he's alive. So come on and dance with me and join my praise party. I just want to show you a couple of things that I'm going to do with my hands so that you can do them too as you follow along, okay? So one of the parts is Jesus is our friend. So Jesus, here's the sign for Jesus, is our friend. When we sing about the world, we're going to make our fingers like this, three fingers up, and go around like this. When we say Jesus is alive, we're going to take our fingers and make two letter L's with them. Then we're going to take them all the way down to our body and then bring them all the way up to show that he's alive. All right? I'm excited. I can't wait to get started. So let me go turn on the music and we're going to dance and praise the Lord. Here we go.
just thinking about him. All right, here we go. Dear God, thank you for being alive. And thank you for making us alive, alive in our bodies and alive in our spirits. Help us, Lord, to follow you every day. And when we forget to follow or we go in the wrong direction, please help us to come back to you. Thank you, God, that you love us, that you love the whole world, and that you will lead us on all the days of our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's put it in our hearts. Amen. Amen, you guys. It was great dancing with you, having a praise party. Woo! Yep, you can have a praise party any time of day. Just turn on some praise music and start to praise the Lord. Then that way, you'll fill your whole house with praise. And then everybody in your house will be praising God too. All right, you guys, love you. And we'll see you at our next episode. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. Hi, little lambs. Ready for the marble jar today? I'm sure you've been good. <clears throat> Okay, this one is for Claire. Good job, Claire. This one is for Allie. Good job, Allie. This one is for Leah. Good job, Leah. <clears throat> this one is for Kingsley. Good job, Kingsley. This one is for Anna. Good job, Anna. This one is for Hannah. Good job, Hannah. And this one is for Aaliyah. Good job, Aaliyah. This one is for Lily. Good job, Lily. This one is for Esther. Good job, Esther. This one is for Thane. Good job, Thane. This one is for Gabriella. Good job, Gabriella. This one is for Samuel. Good job, Samuel. And this one is for JJ. Good job, JJ. Okay, now let's get close to whatever we're watching this on. Stick our right hand in the middle and 